Right, here we have Razer Tiamat Elite 7.1 gaming headset. And currently I have Logitech G930, uh, which is a pretty awesome headset to be honest. But I will explain why I got this one uh, to replace the G930. G930, uh, no bad words, it's excellent, it's wireless. But first let's do the unboxing of Razer. Just take this sticker off, and what this does, it just holds this cover, you just pull it off, or not, there we go, it just slides off like this, put that on the side, and now we have a box like this, look at that Razer logo, it's really nice, and here we have a small thing, we just pull it, it's magnetic, pull it open like this, uh, just try to get out of the light and pull it open from here and it goes all the way and here we have the headset itself and here we have some accessories let's um, examine the accessories first that's it, nice oh there are extra covers in here let's show it uh, like this uh, that's probably the manual and, wow, razor stickers, that's, that's quite nice so like uh, vinyls then we have the manual as usual razor quality is well awesome as they say you get what you pay for this is uh, one of the most expensive headsets well except Astra 40 is more expensive but I won't recommend it and here we have black covers currently it has transparent ones I believe Razer also spends a lot on the box, which is very solid. This is like solid material. And to get to this, we just pull this open. And here's the headset itself then. And to unbox this, uh, I think it's um, yeah, coming out very easily. I think it's going to come out with ho hold this thing. And I noticed this uh, from these brackets. It's uh, attached it but now we have it out of the box I like this green and uh, black thing well here's the headset itself with a control unit and let's try to just unbundle this okay this is this is something I don't like you see it uses these uh, tie clips and you can't undo them so uh, not with fingers I mean you need something else however this one here should be uh, pullable, yeah this is just a rubber one, just simply uh, come off like this and the headset should just pop out carefully and here we have it, uh, it's still attached to something but yeah these covers are detachable which is really nice, I like that how you can see the speakers, that's uh, really awesome and these are very very uh, soft, these are absolutely Amazing! Look at that leather. They're a bit small. I don't know if they're supposed to be that small, or maybe it expands. Uh, this is first thing I don't really like because I don't think my air uh, actually fits in there. But we'll see. And also, it's very difficult to unbox this thing in here, so I have to uh, undo this control unit. Don't want to break any wires. And from the other side, no. It just slides out like this, and that's the control unit. I've checked something about it, and this here is for the speaker pass through, which means that this is analog. This whole bundle, these uh, things, analogs, they connect behind my PC. I have a 7.1 uh, sound card, actually, it's built into the motherboard. It's a Supreme uh, Effect 3, if I'm correct, something like this. It's uh, one of the best sound cards uh, available. I said it's built into the motherboard, but all of line is all this goes into the uh, motherboard, all of these, five of these, and I have to disconnect my speakers, and then here's a pass through wire. I'm going to show you how to connect this probably, or maybe not. But this is the pass through. This goes into the control unit on top in here. This connects right in here. And these are for the speakers. 
and then with a push of a button you can select between the headset and between your speakers and this is one of the functions I really like so you don't have to mess on a hardware level sometimes if I'm like uh, watching a movie or something I'd like to quickly switch but uh, with the current headset I have to do it through Windows and select my default sound device and what I wanted to explain about this headset is uh, well you can clearly see it has five speakers on each side which means it's a true surround sound the other headset uh, like Astro A40 they have only two speakers and it mixes the sounds to make it sound like a surround but it's not actually surround but this one doesn't do that this has actually speakers and it should be amazing surround effect which is uh, yet to be tested. Uh, where's the microphone then? Uh, is that... Oh my god, look at that! That's the microphone. This is amazing. Wow. <laughs> I, I did not know that. This is amazing. That's the microphone. This is like... Uh, goes in here and you can just hide it. That's that's crazy. I didn't actually notice it right away, but I, I thought something's like off. Uh, yeah, the microphone. This this is really amazing how you pull the microphone out from here. That is so cool. Well, people are saying the microphone color is not good, but I will give you a test, and I will also do a video on um, Razer Tiamat versus uh, Logitech G930. and I have the headset on and I'm using the headset's uh, microphone currently and this is where I have it I also have a Razer Onza controller right next to it but here it is and I should microphone volume is very low so <laughs> I'm guessing that's because I um, didn't set it from there uh, there we go that's the microphone and let's see if it it's higher. Testing, 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 testing. And maybe one lower. I'm gonna probably equalize it. No, I'm not going to equalize it. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if I'll equalize it or not. But this style here selects which uh, volume you turn. Main volume. Uh, front, side, subwoofer. This button here is uh, to select between the speakers and the headset. This is either 7.1 mode, aka surround, or normal stereo, and this is to mute the microphone. So if I press this, uh, well, I'm guessing you did not hear this. So I know you decide if the quality is better but or not, but uh, I don't know, I quite like this. It uh, fits actually pretty nicely on the head. Uh, right, this is uh, the control panel for my uh, motherboard, which is Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z. Uh, it's, uh, as I said, it's one of the best um, surround sound sound cards out there. I think it was Extreme FX3. Uh, I might be wrong. But anyway, I've read reviews on this Razer uh, headset. I heard that the microphone is not great. Well, you'll be the judge of that. I do hear slight um, slight background noise in it which is not in present in the G930 but I'm sure it can be adjusted it has something to do with the microphone boost levels I am sure of it I can eliminate that uh, I also heard that the bass is not good well I instantly uh, noticed this that the sound quality was not as good as it's supposed to be but in here if I enable uh, bass management in here that will significantly uh, improve the sound quality so all the people who are complaining it's your stupid sound card they're also saying that they're hearing some weird noises from their headset well not an issue so you're just uh, stupid and don't know how to connect the headset well no offense but that's how it is because it works perfectly for me sound quality is absolutely perfect uh, however I could say it may be slightly different than from the G930. I'll have to like test them side by side, just switch them and then decide. But the sound quality is clear.
well you can't hear these but I can hear them clearly and I can clearly hear that it's either behind me or in front of me and that's like uh, that's quite cool actually I think you did hear it no you shouldn't be able to but this is pretty awesome yeah, sound effects don't mess with this and also this enable room correction I have to put this on if I take this off on some reason that it changes the sound effect so on your uh, sound card or motherboard whatever the interface it comes with go through the settings don't just complain that the headset is broken because it's not the headset it's your sound settings well it could have a digital connection this is something I'm missing I would really like it to have digital uh, connection it's uh, optical I think which is like the fiber optic cable if I'm correct <laughs> I might be wrong I don't know that much about digital cable I have it on my motherboard but it doesn't exist on the headset and this is just uh, the the difference in the settings that gives you these uh, stupid sound effects also analog means that if you touch the cable in the wrong place or if the cable is not properly connected uh, it might produce some weird sounds but I've tested it and I'm telling you this headset is perfect I'm not that happy with the microphone it's slightly I'd give it maybe 8 out of 10 but it's fine and the microphone on my uh, G930 I would give 9.5 maybe because the quality is amazing on it but anyway so much of this uh, Razer and I highly recommend it I haven't uh, played any games with it but I'm going to test it out and see how well it actually works to surround sound because the G930 it wasn't that great that's why I decided to try something different I hope this helps and if you have any questions about connecting it up or setting it up then leave a comment and I'll see you next time